what's going on guys welcome back to the channel captain of storms here today i want to talk a little bit about what you should keep on you in subnautica at all times we have subnautica below zero about to release on the uh nice had a creeper leviathan popping out here um we got subnautica below zero coming out in about a week so i thought it'd be cool to kind of talk about what you should keep on you uh and why uh, in preparation for that because I'm sure things are going to be pretty pretty similar um, for Subnautica Below Zero but with that being said guys let's get right into it so you want to keep the sea glide on you at all times especially if you're uh, down pretty deep in a cave or a uh, ship fragment uh, and you're running out of air this is a pretty good way to get to the surface quick it also displays a, uh, a like a sonar readout of your terrain and surroundings. It's it's pretty small, but it does uh, it can be useful. And also, if you don't have a vehicle yet, this can get you around a little bit faster. So definitely keep that on you at all times. Um, the flashlight kind of goes without saying. You don't want to be in the dark in a cave or a ship fragment without light and get lost and die from lack of oxygen so keep this on you at all times the habitat builder this is kind of debatable but for me personally i don't like to have to go back into my base grab the habitat builder bring it back build what i'm going to build and then go put it back again and just repeat that cycle so i just keep it on me at all times uh the scanner definitely want to keep this on you at all times because um, especially if you're searching for blueprints or you just happen to find a blueprint um, and you don't have your scanner uh, you're just gonna have to come back and that's not how you want to play this game so keep the scanner on you at all times the repair tool this is for a little bit later in the game but you can get a Seamoth uh, pretty quick so keep the repair tool on you at all times. The the vehicles can get damaged fairly easy from a multitude of, of uh, ways. So you can get attacked, uh, you can bump into the rocks or terrain. Um, and so damage is, is pretty accessible for your uh, vehicle. So keep a repair tool on you at all times. Um, fix it up really quick, get back in and do what you need to do. Uh, laser cutter so a lot of times if you find a ship fragment um, the only way into certain areas or the only way in at all would be the laser cutter um, so you definitely don't want to have to come back or even worse you can't remember like where you were or where you found the ship fragment so keep this on you at all times that way you don't have to come back um, the thermal blades, so this is a little bit later in the game too. Um, you, I think your first knife you craft um, can, can be obtained fairly quickly, but this is basically your only means of protection um, besides the weapons that are in the vehicle. So keep this on you at all times and then the thermal blade is especially useful because you can cut pieces of plants that you want and then take them back to your base and put them in exterior or interior um, gardens for growth. So definitely want to keep this on you at all times, guys. Um, first aid kits, I always carry two first aid kits on me and then I'll carry more in whatever vehicle I'm in. Um, water, definitely want to keep a bare minimum, keep two waters on you because it seems like water depletes a little bit faster than food so um, definitely keep two on you at all times um, more depending on how far you're going and how long you're going to be gone same goes with food um, i like to keep the cured peepers on me um, you want to cure them because they don't spoil um, the peepers are good because they have a higher food um, content than most of the other fish um, if you have the food blocks those are great i think they have uh, plus 75 food but they are um, not as abundant as fish obviously so keep a couple cured peepers on you at all times 
Um, and then I also keep an extra battery on me because the last thing you want is a, a piece of your equipment to um, run out of power, especially several hundred meters down. That is definitely a no-go, guys. You do not want that to happen. So keep an extra battery on you at all times. And then when you do get a vehicle, throw another battery in there. I cannot stress enough that um, having too much power is not a bad thing in this game. And you always want to have the right amount of power as opposed to the wrong amount. So keep an extra battery on your person at all times. Another item people might bring up is the fire extinguisher. So I personally don't keep a fire extinguisher on me at all times because the only times I've ever used them is when I'm on the Aurora. In which case, yeah, I will keep one on me at all times. Um, and then uh, on your Cyclops, um, if you go too fast for too long, which is the third speed on the Cyclops, it can cause a fire in the ship and then you want to have your fire extinguisher but there's already fire extinguishers in the uh cyclops as well as you can put a um a uh fire um containment system in the cyclops so i really just don't think that the fire extinguisher is necessary but it's totally up to you um but if you're going to the aurora definitely keep one on you so other than that that pretty much wraps up this video guys be sure to uh, leave a like, drop a comment if you have not done so already. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.